So just to give a, a quick overview of the actual process, um, what I wanted to do today is show you a simple example of taking a model through um, the takeoff through the cost plan and then through to 4D, 5, uh, complete 5D. Just to, uh, what, as a starting point, I will also go through, we've, we've shown you in, diff in other weeks how we can reuse existing data uh, from different estimates or from a standard data set. I'm going to create everything manually in a very, very simple example first, just so you can follow the complete thing through. Um, so the way that it works, uh, we, we have a column in the model. We know lots about the, quant uh, the quantities in that column, but the column itself doesn't know how it's going to be constructed on site. So we add the data to that column and use the different quantities that are available to us uh, to create an accurate estimate from it. So we'll add the rebar, the formwork, the concrete, the finishing, uh, using the takeoff um, geometry which we know about this column. Then to each of those, the activities that are actually needed to build it, uh, then we can add the actual resources, labor equipment, materials to which are required to actually construct that column. Once we've got all that data, we obviously um, know that different trades want to work around the site in a different way. So you know, maybe the substructure is going to be broken down into three poor areas, maybe the superstructure into four quadrants. Um, so we can facilitate that without actually cutting the model in the actual CAD platform. We can make all those um, scenarios and different location breakdowns actually within Vico, and then we can group together the different activities to create tasks per trade. Um, so in this example here, we've broken the building down into four. We know the exact quantities of the activities for the whole building, and then we break it down into these virtual locations, and then we know the exact amount of concrete and rebar and formwork in every location. And then we use that data to drive the actual schedule. So everything is linked, and if we change um, the initial size of this column, then the quantities for the activities will change the quantities and durations for the resources will change and therefore our schedule will, uh, which because of its inherent nature of being um, linked to the estimate, then it's also cost loaded and we've got a good idea of what resources are required on site at a particular time. All this information just comes from using the one integrated system. <coughs> 